State Senator Andrew Gennardis of Brooklyn is working to prevent a repeat of Governor Cuomo's behavior, sponsoring several bills aimed at strengthening current harassment laws. It's going to happen again unless we act legislatively now. One of them would criminalize releasing personal records as a form of retaliation. The attorney general's report found that's exactly what the governor's office tried to do to Lindsey Boylan. Another bill would make it illegal for companies to prohibit rehiring former employees who settled harassment claims. That includes everyone from Google to the New York State Senate. They can legally bar you from applying for a job anywhere in the world. At, at their place of business. A third involves a harassment law Governor Cuomo passed in 2018, lowering the threshold for proving workplace sexual harassment, saying it doesn't need to be severe or pervasive to be illegal. But a loophole in the law excludes personal staff of elected officials. I think we all know why they were carved out. I suspect, and I think many suspect, we you know those employees were carved out because I don't think the institutions of government were ready to confront the fact that we have a painful and ugly legacy of serial harassment in state government. Governor Cuomo also mandated sexual harassment prevention training in 2018 and extended the statute of limitations for filing harassment complaints. Some legal and political experts recently on the PIX11 Morning News are convinced Governor Cuomo knew he was breaking his own rules. Come on, he's a lawyer, he's the governor. You change laws to accommodate the this you know the the uh, the new understanding, if you will, about how this line has moved.